everyone. This is Jean Ellen in the Great Southwest. Welcome to another episode. I have uh, some new diamond dots to show you. I've been pretty busy. Let me show you what I've done recently. I've rearranged my collection. I stopped framing them long ago because I just have too many of them. My most recent is that uh, holiday lantern right there. I have my my bald eagle, my seascapes, and my winter scene there. So today we're gonna start a new one, and he's really cool. I actually found him at Joanne Fabrics. It's my T Rex. Let's see if I can get more of the glares not on him. Yeah. He is not a full drill, meaning that his background is not diamond. But he himself is, and I've already started. So uh, he is a lot of green and grays. For instance, this is, I just started with number five, and you usually don't get that many beads or, or diamonds in one bag. So that just shows that a lot of this guy and uh, the number five diamond is represented by the check mark. So that's what I'm doing here. And I'm working my way from left to right. And you see that I have some more checks to go to the right. And that moves into a little bit of uh, browns and tans. Here's the code for it. And all I'm going to do, I've decided on this one, that I'm going to start at his tail end and work my way to his beautiful face. So I figured that would be a good incentive for me to uh, keep going. Because it does get a little monotonous sometimes when you have one color or a lot of colors, what they call confetti, all mixed together. And I have gone ahead and this one doesn't have as many color diamonds as other ones that I've done. So here's the different ones I cut across. I cut the uh, the plastic holders apart because they come in a big ribbon. And I've got them in my little tray. And even though yesterday, I, I, when I finished the, the holiday lantern, this right now, I've got a new um, table coming in, a new uh, uh, craft table coming in, so I'm not going to have this set up, hopefully after tomorrow. But when I leave for the day or I finish working, I'll mostly close this box and I put it down on the ground. Okay, I could see one of my cats bounding off the stool to get onto the cat tree and my, bee, my diamonds going flying. And even though it was on the floor, someone still hit it. And this whole bottom row that was full just flipped over and and dumped itself amongst the other trays. And when I, I, I did I did have to pick through the, the mess to finish up my diamond painting last night. So that was not cool. So my new setup, which will have drawers that I can put this stuff in, it'll have a table that is it'll it, it's gonna be able to tilt. And I'm hoping that helps with my, you know, like back pain or shoulder pain I have when, when sometimes I work. I can't, I don't know if I can blame it on doing the diamond dots, but I'm going to see if it'll help because this can't be a very good ergonomic setup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video now. And when I have my new table set up, I will update you on it and show you how I'm doing it and see if it's uh, easier to get this guy done. Well, it turns out that my new crafting table isn't gonna be in for a whole nother week. So I'm gonna go ahead and sum up this video and I'll do a whole nother video of unboxing that table and seeing how it works with doing diamond paintings and uh, a little concerned about my lighting using a desk like that, but we'll see. We won't know till we put it together and try. So here's my little T-Rex. I've done some more work on him. I did a lot of the check marks, now I'm doing the J's. And you can see how they're a different shade. 
right there. So thank you for joining me on this short video. Uh, but I was very excited. My daughter got me Mr. T-Rex from Joanne Fabrics. And I was looking forward to putting him up on the wall. Let me put him right next to uh, my snowman and make him very nervous or my birds. Well, thank you again for joining me. This has been Jean Ellen in the Great Southwest. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you hit that subscribe button and the notification button, you'll know when I post new material to my channel. So thanks again for joining me and have a wonderful day.